Hello everybody, welcome back. This is my first update to Winnie the Pan. The creator is Brandy. Everything will be listed in the description box below to join Fantastic Ladies, um, the other individuals, plus the creator are in the master list that are working on this project. All right. I have nothing amazing happening yet, but I'm also trying to hit pan on everything. So it's only been a month, Lori. Give it time. All right, for Pooh, I am using Edge from my Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. You can see maybe there's a little dip happening. Um, or some striations. I just tap my brush in there very lightly because this was a different formula. It freaked some people out, but you just tap very lightly. And I usually use it in my crease and as my transition shade. So I am enjoying using it. Hopefully there's pan by December, but I still have months before December hits. All right, for Eeyore, I am using my NYC and Demi Lovato Levotics palette. I am using the gray, which is this one right here. It has a lot of kick up in the pan. And that's just me dabbing the blending brush in it. And that's just me dabbing the blending brush in it, but there's really nothing to see, but I have used it a couple times. All right, for Piglet, I should have weighed this and I did not, so that's on me. Um, but this is, I frankened my City Color B Matte Blush Trio because it was hard for me to work. But when I started, this was 64 grams. I will have to measure it and I'll put it on the screen if, I'll put on the screen what the grams of it is now because it's only two grams of product because this container is 62 grams. But I am still working on it. It's the only blush that I use. In my NYX Sugar Trip Squad, I have two shades that I am trying to use. The orange right here for Tigger, I've used that a couple times. And then this light lavender at the top here for Heffalumps and Woozles. Um, I don't know if you, what you can see in it, but I can see striations when I look at it but I don't know what you see in the camera. And it shows up better when I don't set my primer before I use it because I have it on today in my crease transition area, my crease and in my, in my crease and for my transition shade. <laughs> there we go. So I'm really enjoying using this. Um, the purple, or the purple, the orange goes really well with some of my other looks that I've been doing. So I'm still enjoying that. No pan, obviously. Um, all right, and then in this one, I have the three, four, rabbit, owl, and rue. All right. So I did a look wearing all three of these and I really liked the look. It was very, very neutral, which is not usually my jam, but it looked really good. This one is for Owl. It's, ma what is it? Majestical. No, it's not majestical. It's mystical. 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 This one right here is for Rabbit and Molten. It looks like soil. And this 
brown right here is milk chocolate for root. So I've been using them. Um, it's getting lower. But there's still no pan to show. But I've been enjoying using them. And for honey, I have my Pixie by Petra. It's her lip gloss in Honey Sheen. I don't know that there's a window right there. Do you see it? <laughs> so that's a window in there. I have it standing up. So this, I'll have no problems finishing this because apparently there wasn't a lot in here to begin with, which I'm very fine with. It's a lip plumper. And if it's not, it has a tingling effect. I like the shade, but I will be very happy to have a lip gloss out and at least have an item out of this project. It'll be nice for morale. All right, you guys. So that was my update to Winnie the Pan. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, Thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well, peace.